lowest grade six kids that we had transitioning in this year are uh, incredibly low in literacy, social skills, academically. Um, so they're struggling a lot um, just with basic academic skills, but then also with social skills as well. Like we, I've noticed this year that the anxiety is a lot higher with these kids um, and they struggle a lot more with peer conflict. And the biggest thing I've noticed at the junior high level is that the kids don't wanna go home. They want to stay at school. What I've heard from a lot of these kids is they they really are just craving connection, right? And whether or not they're getting that at home, but you know, they're coming to school for that and they're looking for that. Little kids let go of their emotions around their parents because their parents are safe. And so we see these now teenagers who are doing the same thing essentially at school. They're getting into fights. They're letting these big emotions go at school because school's safe for them. They're seeking connection and they're seeking that attention from adults. And in a school of 1,500 to 2,000 kids, how do you get that? Well, sometimes you become the troublemaker. The way that they initially present with some of these things, um, you know, like needing to take care of their basic needs and, and all of those types of things or navigating really difficult relationships with natural supports or friends, they present as being a lot older than they biologically are. That's a good point. I mean, there are some kids that I've spoken with that during the lockdowns, they were the ones that would have to take care of the younger kids in the house. Um, you know, a lot of families were thrown into poverty, losing their jobs, so a lot of kids would be working as soon as they could, um, maybe not viewing school as a priority anymore. The anxiety, it's a huge piece. It's something that I've heard from the majority of the youth that I speak with, along with the guidance counselors and the parents, um, more so than I've heard pre-pandemic. Um, from the youth, I'm hearing things like they're anxious around just being around so many people, um, feeling like they're being judged. If a youth is late for their class, they'll be too scared to go in because they don't want everyone to see them being late. Um, and this is something new that I've heard that I didn't hear before the pandemic. Yeah, it seems like really there's a, there's a large deficit in just the social development for a lot of the students that we're seeing, um, not just because they were doing school online so they didn't get that in-person classroom dynamic, but also just socially with their peers as well. While they have natural supports like friendships and peers and classmates, they're still kind of strange. They're still kind of off with one another. They don't quite know how to have meaningful conversations and connections with each other, I've found. Um, like Zach mentioned, like they're dealing with this reemergence of the world as it was when they were in junior high. And they should have had two years of high school to prepare them to get those study skills, those sort of, you know, academic, like, this is what I want to do, this is the direction I'm going, and, and they really lost a lot of that time. And so, you know, even things like they hadn't, some of my students had never written a diploma exam, and now all of a sudden they have these big exams coming up, and they don't know how to handle that sort of stress and handle sitting in their chair for that long to write an exam um, because their education has been so different and so varied from year to year and month to month. I find that the longer the school year is going, the more kids are adjusting and they're kind of recognizing, okay, this is now the swing of things, this is how things work. They're starting to settle, they're starting to go, okay, now I know what to expect. These kids have guts. I don't, they're just so gritty. And I think for me, you know, on, on my hardest day, which probably pales in comparison to hard days that are our kids have, I'm like, ah, you just have to find that grit and just, you know, accept and acknowledge where you're at and just say, okay, we're here tomorrow, still coming. I'm still going to do the hard thing. And I have people in my corner and it's okay to say, hey, I need help. 